Welcome back. This is tutorial number two on uh, thin client or end computing. So in the previous tutorial, I had told you the, about the overview and brief introduction of uh, thin clients or end computing. As I have told in the previous tutorial that the uh, end computing or thin client are based uh, basically uh, based on three type of networks. Uh, that is, uh, first is Ethernet or LAN based uh, end computing. Or uh, second is uh, uh, PCI card based thin clients or end computing and third one is USB based so let me explain you one by one in this video tutorial I am explaining the Ethernet or LAN based thin client computing this is the network diagram I will explain you later in details so first of all uh, see that what exactly is uh, Ethernet based thin client it is nothing it is it is exactly the same network which you use in cyber cafe or what, what, what is being used in school and colleges or office the same network is being created here by using um, switch hub or router okay so that is the thing just the thing is that you have to replace each cpu central processing unit of each system by a thin client okay or end computing device except on server server would contain the cpu apart from that every every workstation would be uh, replaced by a thin client okay the cpu is replaced by a thin client and a centralized software is installed on the server cpu that's it okay and that makes uh, the whole computer so let's see in details this is the network diagram i'm telling you as like this uh, this cpu will be replaced by this this thin clients okay only one cpu is required on which centralized software will be installed after that uh, um, the ethernet uh, the ethernet port connect the router or switch or hub and give one supply to this and rest of the port would be given to other uh, what do you call thin clients and in thin client there is a option to connect your monitor your keyboard or mouse that's it from the one single computer you would be able to use many many more systems okay let's see in detail what are the features of uh, or advantages of a ethernet or lan based thin client okay the thing is that work with all ethernet devices on the network i want to see that uh, and the benefit is that uh, this is ethernet device actually a router is a ethernet device a lan card is an ethernet device a hub is a ethernet device so uh, you can use those devices or extend your network to uh, some more different uh, distance by using this device or you can use any benefit uh, any option that we able to say that this e ethernet devices router hub switch can only be used on this type of uh, thin client ethernet based thin client computing if you use other pci based or usb based these devices won't work would not work you cannot connect any hub you cannot extend your uh, lan by using hub or router or switch or any network devices so this is these devices are allowed in this kind on only ethernet based thin client second allow you to maximum uh, use maximum number of clients on the network that means uh, uh, in the other uh, type of uh, thin client computing you, uh, that is restricted to 5 6 11 uh, or uh, 20 that's it but by using ethernet based thin client you can use even up to 100 or 20 or 100 or 200 computers depending upon the capacity of your one single cpu okay so uh, th third thing is that possible to add more computers in future uh, means that if you have suppose using uh, 20 computers or 5 computers or 6 computers okay if you suppose if you have a requirement to add four, me four or one or two or more then what you just need to purchase this thin client if you want to add three computers more purchase three more thin clients and extend your network by connecting to this hub or switch this facility is not allowed in uh, PCI based uh, thin computing or end cloud in computing okay uh, support maximum distance distance of uh, other type of networking 
and uh, in thin plant is uh, restricted to very limited distance like uh, 10 meters but you can extend this up to uh, 50 meters as well 100 meters as well it uses normal cad 5a cable which is being used uh, normally in an in office and uses the rj45 connectors uh, this type of uh, you have to give separate power adapter which uh, which will come with each thin plant for providing power supply to them okay so what are the limitation of the, this type of uh, uh, ethernet based uh, thin plant computing limitation is that because you have uh, um, slow operation speed your speed of operation of each workstation will be a bit slower than pci card based thin, thin plant which i would explain in later this this card based thin plant so uh, this processing speed is a bit slower graphic quality is poor than pci card based thin plant graphic quality is all as well poor you cannot get get as free uh, videos or, in, or you, you if you would use sd video on your uh, workstation that would uh, uh, not be watched properly uh, you cannot play rich media or rich graphics beast games as well on this type of uh, uh, network as well and that's the thing if you are using if you are willing to use for uh, school programming or is called um, teaching purpose it is superb if you are using for cyber cafe it is browsing it is superb so uh, and this video tutorial i would show in the next video tutorial i would show you the uh, PCI card based uh, thin clients and end computing. Okay, so let's see in the next video tutorial. Bye bye.